Okay. Hey everyone! I know I haven't posted in a while. I'm literally in the middle of nowhere with hardly any signal. And, um, it's been rough the last few, like, week and a half because, uh, gnats. Um, gnats have driven us out of our site, so I haven't had anything to show you because we haven't been there. And I've been doing a lot of hiking and doing some stratigraphy, which I will tell you all about later. But I thought, since we're still being driven out by my gnats, I would show you how to field prep alumni. Yeah. Hand over this. <clears throat> so basically, what I'm going to start with is I've got this bucket full of water and a toothbrush. And we're just going to scrub the dirt off as best we can. I'm going to scrub this one because it's a little cleaner already. And you literally just sit here and scrub it. This is the easiest way to clean this kind of stuff off. And I'm going to make a nice big mess on the table. Because I can. <laughs> and as you can see, it's already starting to show that it's actually a black color. Not this fly. Excuse you. See? Bug problem. I'm telling you. There's one field, pro field, field work problem. It's bugs. See <laughs> how much better that already is. I've already gotten a lot of the dirt off. But now my brush is really dirty. So it's not doing its job anymore. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Now, for those of you who don't know what a belemnite is, belemnites are a relative of squid. You've probably seen them in museums. So, they get this bullet-like shape. This is actually their internal shell, we'll say. So, unlike other invertebrates, these guys grow their, their calcium on the inside rather than the outside. We call these pens, so all squid have these pens on the inside of them. You can imagine what a giant squid's pen looks like. Uh, not all the lemnites were this straight pointy thing, there are some weird curvy ones. But, the ones from our Jurassic stump formation, so that is Middle Jurassic, just above the Morrison formation where all of our dinosaur bones are at, is full of these guys. We actually have a whole wall, which is super cool. I'll have to show you guys pictures at some point, because I've got some. It's intense, but these guys lived in the shallow sea, um, did their squid things, got eaten by ichthyosaurus, I'm sure. <laughs> Alright, now, one of the fun things we get to do is we get to use dental picks. So I've got some stubborn dirt on here, it's wet, so I'm just going to start peeling it off of one of these. With it being wet, I am so sorry, Eric, if it hits you in the face. It's kind of just going where it wants. <laughs> It'll live. It's dirty, actually. I actually have spatter marks all over I from the... I pulled it back just for you. It's still kind of here. <laughs> okay. So, we're making a little more progress here. Get some of this dirt off. Um... I have other fun facts about balloon nights. Not really. I'm not an invertebrate paleontologist. I just know that we can. Oh, these guys are index fossils. So, an index fossil is one where we have lots and lots of them, and they only live for a very short amount of time. So, when we find those fossils, we know exactly how old the rock is. So, if we find this particular balloon night type in rock, um, it's probably Middle Jurassic. <laughs> As long as it's actually in situ and not just, which means, like, in, in the place it's supposed to be, not in a wash. If it's in a wash, the wash is not from the Middle Jurassic. The wash is probably from very, very recently. And in some cases, depending on where you're at, it could have been made the day before. <laughs> Especially out in the desert. Boy, now it's being stubborn. I don't want to come off. Oh, so good.
it will come off eventually one day. Oh, 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 there we go. There we go. A little bit of progress. All right. Still being very stubborn. This was in a fairly hard sandstone at one point, so it does make sense that this is not wanting to come off. I think it was lucky it was able to erode out, honestly. Um, but yeah. I won't make you watch for too long. It's already been, you know, six minutes at this point. But you can see this is already much, much cleaner than this one. So, that's field prep. We don't do a lot of that on dinosaur bones because we don't want to break them. So we, we take them back to the lab and let our lab people do it. But yeah, so, Blem Night Field Prep, guys. We'll boss you later.